remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. The assertion by Hajia Sadia Umar Farouk, Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, that Bielsa State is not among 10 most impacted states being ravaged by flood, has continued to generate reactions in the Niger Delta. The Pan-Niger Delta Forum, PANDEF, insists that the minister's position on the flood situation is misleading and intended to divert post-flood economic reconstruction benefits due heavily impacted states like Bielsa to less impacted regions of the country. During a recent ministerial briefing at the State House, Abuja, Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Hajia Sadia Umar Farouk, had declared that Jigawa and not Bayosa State is the most flood-impacted state in Nigeria. She said Bayosa was not among the top 10 most impacted states. It will also interest you to know that Bayosa is not even amongst the 10 most hit. I think Jigawa is, is number one. And we have taken intervention to Bayosa and it's still ongoing. We are using the Nigerian Air Force to assess the inaccessible areas. An immediate response came from elder statesman Chief Edwin Clark, leader of the Pan Niger Delta Forum, PANDEF. Chief Clark wondered how Jigawa, surrounded by plains covered by wooded savanna, could have been more impacted than Bayelsa which lies almost entirely below sea level, noting that the minister's comment on the flood situation was mischievous. In agreement with Chief Clark, National Publicity Secretary of PANDEF, Ken Robinson says, the statistics being bandied by the Honorable Minister was deliberately concocted to rob Peter to pay Paul in an anticipated post-flood intervention program. Robinson who describes the minister's comments on the flood situation as uncharitable and insensitive to the plight of Bielsens and other Niger Deltans calls for her immediate resignation. To say that Bielsa state is, is not even amongst the 10 worst eight states uh, in, in the flood, flood in, uh, as regards the flood in 2022 flood is, is, is not just provocative but it's, it's insensitive, uh, to say the least. And uh, as Pandef, uh, as we issued in our statement, uh, that woman is not fit to be a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and so she should resign immediately. Our findings reveal that over 90% of the entire landmass of Bielsa State is currently submerged in water. In the last four weeks, the flood has claimed dozens of lives, hundreds of thousands of internally displaced persons are now stranded in the state. Governor Doye Dewey, who has had sleepless nights over the pitiable condition of his people, has vowed to continue to monitor the situation and help them recover fast from the flood disaster. As governor, I told myself, I will make this period no invitation to take me out of the Nagua. My people have nowhere to sleep. Some are sleeping on the main roads. Some are being beaten by snakes. Some are catching cold because they are exposed to the cold environments. Some have even died. And so I should not sit down in my office. Bayosa State is bordered by rivers and delta states, which are also heavily impacted by flood. However, Several groups monitoring the flood situation have identified Bielsa as the most devastated state in the Niger Delta, which lies at the bottom of Nigeria's coastal plain. Deeply worried about Hajia Umar Farouk's statement, they are calling for an independent assessment that would generate more reliable data on the flood situation across the country. Inside the Niger Delta, 